test we should conduct on cement and what kind of test we should conduct on fine aggregate and what kind of test we should conduct on coarse aggregate and also we have been discussed that instead of uh, these three ingredients two more ingredients will be used in concrete they are additives and admixtures additives are nothing but whatever the substances or whatever the chemical compounds we use while manufacturing cement understand and so they are called as additives because to give some in special end properties to cement or to give some extra qualities or qualifications to cement we will use those additives and the additives will be added to the cement while it is manufacturing understand and so either in the process of uh, mixing the raw materials or either in the process of heating in a kiln or either in the process of uh, grinding the clinker or either while we are adding gypsum it means while we are mixing gypsum with the clinker at the time also we can add those additives to cement understand and so the additives are the substances or chemical compounds which are mixed to concrete while it is manufacturing to give some extra qualities or to give some special properties to concrete this is about additives and uh, coming to and uh, to additives are also two types of additives are there first one is the process additives and next one is the function additives understand and it means uh, while it means uh, if you take a cement manufacturing industry or cement manufacturing plant it may be located at some other place okay now, so in that particular location the raw materials available in that location may not safe it means they may not uh, give particular strength to cement understand and it means the raw materials available at a particular place may have some properties and the same raw materials available at some other place may have some different properties it means whatever the place or whatever the country everywhere structure should be there and everywhere if you are using concrete for a construction it should have the same property understand now but the raw materials available at different places may not give same properties to concrete so in that case to give the exact and to give the to give those particular properties to cement we use some extra additives to overcome the problems created by raw materials or to overcome the deficiency of deficiencies given by raw materials we use some special compounds to cement while it is manufacturing understand or no so to overcome the deficiencies or to overcome the problems created by raw materials to the end properties of cement we use some compounds those compounds are called as process additives understand or no so additives are two types first one is the process additive next one is the functional additive process additive is nothing but a chemical compound or a substance which is used to cement when it is manufacturing uh, to give it means to attain the required properties and to attain the required quality of cement that is nothing but a process additive and next one is the functional additive functional additive is the substance or compound which is added to cement after it has been manufactured it means while grinding the clinker understand or no so at the time of grinding grinding of clinker we will use some additives those are called as functional additives and the the main object of functional additive is to give some extra or to give some special end properties to concrete we will use such functional additives understand or no so you can say that whatever the additives we will add to con to cement while it is manufacturing to required it means to attain its uh, required properties that they are called as process additives and whatever the additives we will add to cement to give some extra properties those are called as functional additives so that is the difference between process additives and functional additives understood or not so and the next coming to admixture admixtures are the special substances are some extra substances or chemical chemical or either they are chemical or mineral which are added to concrete to give some special properties to concrete understand or no so this is called as admixture that is the difference between additive and admixture additives are added to give extra properties to cement and admixtures are added to give extra properties to concrete understand or no and uh, you can see that and admixtures are also have been again they have been classified into two types chemical admixtures and mineral admixtures it means whatever the admixtures naturally available they are called as mineral admixtures and whatever the admixtures they have been processed and prepared in a laboratory or prepared in a plant they are called as chemical admixtures and both are chemical in nature both can undergo either mineral or either chemical both can undergo some chemical reactions with water and cement within a concrete and they can give some their respective properties or their required qualities to concrete
this is about uh, admixture understand or not so these are all the major ingredients of concrete first one is the again i will tell you what are the major ingredients of concrete first one is the cement next one is the coarse aggregate next one is the fine aggregate and water these four are the major ingredients along with these four ingredients admixtures we will add to concrete so these are the five types of major ingredients used in concrete understand or not and now we are going to discuss about uh, mixed region mixed region is nothing but if you need to mix the concrete or we, if we need to prepare a concrete by mixing all these ingredients understand so we need to have some idea about mixed region mixed region is nothing but uh, it gives it provides some guidelines in which proportion we will mix all this all its ingredients like uh, how much quantity of uh, water to be used and how much quantity of cement to be used and how much quantity of uh, coarse aggregate how much quantity of uh, fine aggregate to be used and also what type of uh, coarse aggregate what type of fine aggregate and uh, what is the nature of uh, or what is the characteristics of water should contain if it is to be used as a ingredient of concrete understand and so all these things we will measure and also we will calculate by using the concept called as mixed region understand or no so now i will show you something about mixed region and i i can say that if you know mixed region it means if you know how to mix various ingredients of concrete to make concrete it will also give some it means it will also provide some income to you either as a student nowadays also you can do mixed region and also you can earn some money understand or no i will tell you how to earn money as you, as you are students it means during this student age you are able to see na screen what i am sharing yes sir yeah okay this is the concrete mixed region concrete mixed region is nothing but this selection of quantities of ingredients and also the selection of particular type of ingredient to make concrete that is nothing but concrete mixed region for concrete mixed region we need to know some qualities of its ingredients and also we need to do some this little calculations that's it based on their properties understand or no so see this is the most important topic concrete mixed region if you know concrete mixed region alone itself we can start earning money i will tell you how to earn money and introduction coming to concrete mixed region you can see the definition of a mixed region here concrete is obtained by mixing yeah, yeah. please don't disturb all of you mute yourself concrete is obtained by mixing cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate water and mixture and admixtures in required proportions the mixture when placed in forms and allowed to cure becomes hard like stone understand no so that hard like stone is called as hardened concrete the hardening is caused by please mute yourself all of you don't disturb the hardening is caused by chemical action between water and the cement due to which concrete grows stronger with age understand or no so it is the most widely used man made construction material in the world so without concrete there is no construction nowadays and also without concrete there is no country and there is no place please say that i can know who is uh, unmuting and who is making noise that's why i'm saying that don't disturb the class because our higher officials also watching our class our hod principal and you can see that uh, some guests have been also entered and uh, left the meeting understand or no so that's why they can able to know and also some so don't disturb the class that's what i am to say see here so the concrete making materials are cement aggregates water and admixture so these four are the major concrete making materials and these four to be mixed with water so that is the that is the primary ingredient of concrete 
and say for mixed design or for mixing concrete what type of cement to be used and how to calculate the required quantity of cement understand or not to for making concrete for a particular purpose understand or not that's what we will see now you can see what is cement cement and water forms an active component of concrete while the inactive group compresses the fine and coarse aggregates the cement and water form a paste that hardens and bonds the aggregates together so that's what we have been discussed till now understand or not cement it is a active material and it means it can have a binding property in concrete the major role of cement is to mix or to bind the coarse aggregate and fine aggregate that is the major role of cement and the cement and water all of you please mute yourself if you have any queries you can text a message in chat box that's it ृत्री You meet yourself. See. So types of cement already we have been discussed that there are uh, based on the grades there are three types of cements are there are 33 grade 43 grade and 53 grade okay now so and also by by using different types of additives while manufacturing the cement there are again several types of cements are there among them around 18 types of cements are recognized by Bureau of Indian Standards and the more commonly used cements are ordinary portland cement with 33 43 and 53 grade and a blended cement like uh, ppc and psc and uh, sulfate resisting cement and next one is the uh, low heat portland cement hydrophobic portland cement colored cement here blended cements ppc and psc are then ppc means portland pojolana cement psc means portland slag cement So okay, these are all the major, uh, important, and most commonly used cements throughout the world. And one more thing we should know that basically these cements have been classified based on their uh, ingredients and based on their procedure of manufacturing. These cements are classified in two types. One thirty-eight. I can able to know. Please don't stop class. Every entire class is recording. Understand? I know who is muting, who is speaking, who is unmuting. Everything we able to know. You don't. You you are. I think you are not thinking that class is not recording. Entire all class is getting recorded. Okay na. So, uh, so these 18 are the most important types of cements they are using in India. It means they are recognized by Bureau of Indian Standards (BIS). And coming to aggregates, there are two types of aggregates we know: fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. The aggregate should be cheaper than cement. It means they are always they are cheaper than cement and they impart greater volume, stability, and durability to concrete. The main purpose is to provide bulkiness to concrete. And some of the aggregates may be chemically active. Understand or not? So, next one is the classification classification of aggregate based on their geological origin. The aggregates have been classified into two types: natural aggregates and artificial aggregates. And based on their size, the aggregates have been classified into two types: fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. And based on their size, sorry, shape, the aggregates have been classified into uh, it means different different shapes like rounded aggregates, irregular aggregates. Angular aggregates, flaky aggregates, and elongated aggregates, and based on the density, it means unit weight. 
they have been classified into normal weight aggregates heavy weight aggregates and the light weight aggregates understand and so this is the classification about aggregates it means while we are selecting a type of aggregate for mixing a concrete all these things we need to consider and coming to especially coming to aggregates what type of aggregates they are and what is the size of the aggregates and what is the shape of the aggregate and also what is the weight unit weight of the aggregate and also we need to consider its various parameters like the what are the different uh, strengths of aggregates like what is the compressive strength of aggregate what is the crushing strength of aggregate and what is the impact strength of the aggregate and also what is the soundness of aggregate and what is the it means the capability to hold the moisture content understand and, and what is the capability to react with the water which have been mixed with concrete understand and, so that's what it is written here some of the aggregates are may be chemically active chemically active means they can undergo some chemical reactions with the water as well as with cement understand and so while selecting a type of aggregate for making concrete all these things we need to consider understand and so what is the strength what is the quality what is their origin what is the size what is the shape and what is the unit weight all these things we need to consider and next coming to water water is the most important and the least expensive ingredients of concrete and one of the water is used in the hydration of cement to form the binding matrix it means uh, say i will tell you that water it is to be used in a concrete it should contain uh, certain properties because water itself it is a solution it is a uh, it means we, we should not use even distilled water or we should not use even pure water to concrete understand no? so water should contain some distinct characteristic understand no? and that water if the water mixes in concrete the cement will react with water and then it will gets a binding property understand no? and one more thing we should know that the water should react with water and also the what it means due to that reaction some products may be produced you know so those produce those products to be helpful to concrete they should not be it means they should not create any harm to concrete it means they should not destroy the concrete and they should not uh, create any segregation or bleeding in concrete they should only create only some bonding and also they should only create some strength within concrete that is the role of water understand no so the water which we are using for making concrete it should contain certain properties understand no? and uh, what are the properties to be considered while such a water to be used for a concrete i will explain you that basically the water is a ingredient of water and it is a substance like it is a solution chemical solution and we should know that the properties of water have been classified into three types first one is the physical properties of water chemical properties of water and next one is the biological properties of water physical properties of water means whatever the properties of water we can measure or we can detect by using our senses like by seeing it by touching it or by smelling it or by tasting it understand and so those properties of water are called as physical properties of water and especially the most common physical properties of water are like uh, turbidity and also like uh, whatever the salts or whatever the solids dissolved in it or whatever the it means some suspended matter may be present in water like clay particles or soil or sand particles may be present in water understand no so such polluted water also not suitable for mixing concrete only the water should be clear should pure and should contain it means it should be some of its properties being it being their permissible limits that kind of water only to be used for mixing concrete like uh, smell odor color and some suspended solids or suspended clay present in water na so these are all called as physical properties of water and next properties is the chemical properties of water so chemical properties of water means whatever the properties of water we can measure in laboratory so those are called as chemical properties of water it means like a color like a smell or like suspended matter we cannot detect by using our senses it means by seeing them or by touching them or by smelling them understand or no those properties are called as physical properties and whatever the properties we cannot measure by using our senses they are called as chemical properties and those chemical properties we can measure only within laboratory understand or no it means 
especially the water available from atmosphere or the water available from the earth ground water it said they can it means number of gases number of solids number of minerals and number of salts may get dissolved in water understand it? so those dissolved solids are those dissolved substances we cannot measure by using our senses we can measure only by applying some chemical test on laboratory understand it? so those properties are called as chemical properties and especially if you want to measure the chemical properties of water the first property we need to measure is ph of water ph will decide either the water it means ph will decide the the basic uh, characteristic of water it means especially any water or any solution have been classified based on their nature into three types first one is acid next one is base and next one is salt understand now acid means the water or the solution whose ph is less than 7 they are called as acids and the water or the solution whose ph is above 7 they are called as bases and the water whose ph is equal to 7 they are called as salt understand na salt or neutral neutral liquid understand na so these are the three basic types of water or three basic types of any solution and this classification made on made on its ph understand na and one more thing we should know that water is a substance available in an atmosphere which is made up of only two molecules one is hydrogen molecule and next one is the hydroxide molecule h is hydrogen molecule oh is the hydroxide molecule h plus oh gives h2o this is the chemical formula of water understand no it and one more thing the constant it means the measurement of concentration of hydrogen ions present in water is called as ph and the concentration of oh ions present in water is called as poh understand or no and in our india the properties are the characteristics of water we will measure only by using ph and if you take some european countries or some other countries they can use it means they can measure the characteristic of water by using poh whatever ph and poh both are same ph of water poh of water should be equal to 14 pH plus pH is equal to 14. If pH is 10, pH should be 4. Understand or no? It means the summation of pH and pH should be equal to 14. Understand or no? So the water whose pH and pH both are equal to 7, that water is said to be salt. And the water whose pH, understand or no? Less than 7, it is called as acid. And the water whose pH is above 7, it is base. Understand or no? And one more thing we should know that. the water to be used for concrete it's not be too acidic in nature and also it should not be too alkaline in nature understand no if it is acidic in nature the acids present in water can react with cement and produce some harmful products if it is too alkaline in nature the bases present in water can react with cement and produce some harmful harmful products understand no so it means the water to be used for mixing concrete its ph should be in between 6.5 to 8.5 it should not be less than 6.5 and also it should not be greater than 8.5 so that is the basis of water it means that is the basic parameter of water what we should know before we are using it for mixing concrete understand or no and not only ph it means acidic and basic at all you know acidic it means the acidity is caused due to various acids means dissolved in water and alkalinity is caused due to various bases dissolved in water and especially the acidity is caused due to various dissolved minerals or various dissolved carbon dioxide in water understand if carbon dioxide and minerals dissolved in water then that water is said to be acid and if certain bases like uh, see i am saying that the entire class is recording if you disturb it is going you are going to find out understand or no we easily we can find out who is disturbing the class please don't mute sir please don't unmute please mute yourself and listen the class if you have any doubt you can unmute yourself and you can ask me understand or no and before that please you raise your hands if you raise your hand i will give you a chance to ask question understand or no because i am still we are not entered in subject still i am explaining the introduction about the subject 
if you have play clarity and some basics on introduction then easily you can understand the subject that's what i am saying please admit yourself and cooperate if you don't want to listen you be silent because some other some other students are listening don't try to disturb them yes sir yes sir yes sir okay sir okay please mute yourself because how much intensity i am with how much intensity i am explaining you you should listen you should understand that understand or no yes sir yes sir yes sir hmm see listen to me okay sir and okay the acidity how acidity will cause it to water the acidity pH, is pH. Cause, yeah if the ph is less than 7 it is said to be acid in nature and the acidity yes. is caused due to water due to the some dissolved minerals and some dissolved carbon dioxide understand or no and one more property is there it is alkalinity if the ph of water is above 7 those waters are called as bases or alkaline in nature and that alkaline property or alkalinity caused to water due to the dissolution of some bases like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide understand or no so various bases dissolution of various solids or dissolution of various bases can give alkalinity to water okay na and one more thing and also various salts or various substances can get dissolved in water like sulfates chlorides and also oxides and also some metals like iron zinc understand manganese magnesium calcium also can dissolve in water understand no so whatever the substances dissolved in water all those things called as chemical characteristics of water like pH, acidity, alkalinity, chlorides, sulfates, fluorides, understand or not? Various metals like calcium, magnesium, iron, manganese, all those things called as chemical characteristics of water. And one more important parameter we should know about water is is hardness. Hardness. I think what is hardness of water? I think you may have studied in your chemistry. Can anybody say what is hardness of water? Thousand hardness. I'm asking definition, not value. <laughs> mm. Hardness of water. Can anybody say? You This does know. not give foam on water. Which yeah, means? it does not give foam on water. It means the hard water will. Yeah. It means the property of water which does not give foam or lather with soap. That is called as. Uh, hardness of water and you should remember that listen what is the main function of water it means mostly we will use water for drinking purpose and for cleaning purpose understand or no if the water doesn't have hardness if we drink it na our thirst may be cleared understand if we wash it or if we use the water for cleaning purpose the surfaces or the things may get cleaned understand or no if we use if the water having hardness even if we drink the water we cannot feel the it means we cannot feel the thirst it means uh, if i cannot feel that our thirst have been come, removed understand no? and also if you use hot water for cleaning purpose the surfaces may not get cleaned understand no? because the hardness present in water is resisting its property or is resisting its function that is called as uh, hardness of water and mostly the hardness is caused due to two major components what are they it means what substances can Sir, cause hard, hardness to water tell me turbidity sir yeah turbidity is caused due to hardness turbidity will not cause hardness understand or not tell me yeah basically two substances are the calcium and magnesium understand or no if the water contains calcium magnesium in water these two substances will make, react with sulfates and nitrates All carbonates good. and bicarbonates present in water and then they cause uh, hardness to water understand or no even if the water contains only calcium and magnesium 
it will not cause any hardness and even if the water contains only sulfates fluorides nitrates and carbonates and bicarbonates that water will not have any hardness and if any water contains both calcium and magnesium along with sulfates nitrates fluorides carbonates and bicarbonates understand and so so then all the substances react with each other and then they will produce hardness in water understand and so this is the reason behind the hardness of water and one more thing we can say that what is uh, it means the hardness have been classified into two types what are the two types of hardness anybody can say temporary hardness and permanent Perfect. hardness yeah, yeah. Almost, yes. yes if we remove the temporary hardness to water it means uh, whatever the hardness to be removed from water by boiling it if we boil the water temporary hardness will be removed understand now and some of some hardness is there even after boiling also we cannot remove that hardness that hardness is called as permanent hardness understand now and this temporary hardness is caused due to calcium carbonate calcium bicarbonate magnesium carbonate and magnesium bicarbonate it means the carbonate and the bicarbonate of calcium and magnesium will cause have... temporary hardness yeah the sulfate fluoride chloride nitrate yeah. these if they react with calcium and magnesium na then they will form permanent hardness understand na and the water which is having hardness also listen and sir new type hai sir mero అర్థం Uh, i think some action to be taken okay now, so whatever the uh, it, it means the water if it is to be used for making concrete it should not contain hardness understand and one more thing if the water contain chlorides and also if the water contain sulfates and also if the water contain some bases dissolved in it that water also should not use it for making concrete understand no because these chlorides sulfates can react with cement and also they can cause corrosion to steel understand no because if you so these are corrosive nature and also they are highly react with cement and also they can produce some harmful products and due to the due to those chemical reactions the concrete may get fail fail understand no so that's why if you want it to be used for mixing concrete it should contain certain properties and it should not contain certain dissolved substances understand and so this is about water and the next one is the admixtures already we have i told you that admixtures are the some special substances or some extra substances which are adding to concrete to give some extra properties understand and so those are called as admixtures you can see here the admixtures are added to the concrete immediately or during mixing to modify its properties in the fresh or hardened state and there are different types of admixtures are there basically admixtures are two types chemical admixtures and mineral admixtures and one more thing these two admixtures again have been classified into different types based upon their purpose or based upon their it what to say based upon their purpose or based upon their function there are different types of admixtures are there there are accelerators retarders plasticizers air entering admixtures waterproofers pigments corrosion it means uh, non corrosive admixtures and anti fungal admixtures so these are all the different types of admixtures which are to be used in concrete understand now so it means sir if you zoom up like that sir mota net type hota hai what please i told you re me class disturb cheyal ante class lo join avadu lekapothe silent ga undu class disturb chese right nik ledu you don't have any rights to disturb anybody
అంత ఉంటే చెప్ప హెచ్ఓడి అయితే ఖాళీ అభిస్తే మాట్లాడు అది ఎంటర్ క్లాసెస్ రికార్డింగ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీబడి విల్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ పీపుల్ డోంట్ నో వాట్ ఇస్ ద సీరియస్ సీరియస్నెస్ ఇస్ ఇయర్ ఎవ్రీబడి కెన్ జాయిన్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీబడి కెన్ వాచ్ అవర్ రికార్డెడ్ క్లాస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ అండ్ అవర్ క్లాసెస్ కంటిన్యూస్లీ గెటింగ్ రికార్డింగ్ if you disturb class definitely some disciplinary action will be taken against you okay sir yes sir what is your name i think your name is vijayan vinu vijayan vinu vijayan is not there sir in this not there in class sir vinu vijayan okay what vinu vijayan not come sir absent sir absent please note that who is speaking who is meeting who is unmeeting everything is getting recorded here if you disturb the class some okay, definitely some action will be taken against you that's it okay sir even i am taking time and i am trying to give some information to you if you don't want to learn or if you don't want to take that information who is going to last you are only going to get last understand no if you don't want to class means to not understand sir don't don't want. Want. what what that's what we will discuss later and if you have any problems you inform me after the class you can contact me during the class you sir, don't disturb my voice you cut out and sir madhya madhya la cheptante whose voice my voice my yes, sir you should inform me now after class you should inform me during class you don't 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 do such things understand na yes sir ikkada wifi pettukoni college la vachina class cheptam ante meeku voice endu cut aitadi ra sir meeku college cheptalla sir college cheyavadalla roju that is not your problem see okay now so this is about admixtures understand now so like this we should uh, know how much quantity and uh, how how to determine the quality and which quality to and which much it means which quantity of uh, various ingredients we need to select and uh, how to mix them understand now it means the guidelines and the recommendations provided by india standards understand and for mixed design we will ask a code book that is is 10262 2009 in that code book all the details regarding mixed design have been given understand anna and for again which code book sir is 10262 okay sir. okay na okay sir mm. so this is the this is about mixed design okay na so up to now we have been completed the entire syllabus like uh, what are the ingredients of concrete and how to measure its uh, properties and what are the different properties of various ingredients we need to know and also we have been discussing that uh, what is fresh concrete and what is hardened concrete understand na so if we conduct any test on concrete fresh concrete to measure its quality that test should be related to its workability understand na and if we, if we need to test the hardened concrete that test should be related to its strength understand na so in the state of fresh concrete we will measure or we will determine its workability and in the state of or in the condition of hardened concrete we will measure its strength understand na it means there we will measure in terms of workability and here we will measure in terms of strength understand na so these are this is the complete introduction and complete scenario about our subject concrete technology understand now again i will tell you the concrete is made up with three ingredients cement coarse aggregate and fine aggregate and along with this we will use some more ingredient that is admixture understand now and next we have been seen that what is fresh concrete what is hardened concrete and what are the test to be conducted on cement aggregate water and also upon admixture we have been seen and one more thing what are the test to be conducted on fresh concrete what are the test to be conducted on hardened concrete we have seen and based upon their additives and based upon the manufacturing process different types of cements are there we have seen and based upon their admixture and also based upon the different properties different raw materials understand and we have seen the uh, and also based upon their appearance also different kinds of concretes are there we have been discussed all those things understand and finally we have dis- discussed about mixed design mixed design is nothing but uh, 
the selection of various ingredients with appropriate quantities that is nothing but mixed design understand anna so up to now we have been discussed and the entire subject concrete technology having only this much topics only these are the topics we are going to see in concrete technology understand anna so up to now we have been discussed everything regarding concrete technology understand anna so and from monday onwards we will start first unit it means we will start discussion of syllabus this is introduction sir up to now we have been completed introduction and complete subject we have been discussed each and every topic related to the subject na we have been discussed okay. everything okay na and if you have any doubts you can ask me anybody can ask me if you want any doubt or if you need any listen if you need any information you can ask me and if you have any doubt you can ask me half an hour la 5 minutes cover chesindi sir are each and every topic i have been discussed ante ni load cheskole ga sir anni what anni konni ante maaki ippudu malla pampistara sir idi maaku recording rikka sir malli pdf pampistara please alafi mute yourself if you want to ask anything please ask in english english uh -huh. English. Okay, from Monday onwards we will start syllabus. Okay, na? Okay, okay sir. Now, sir. Bye, sir. Okay. Bye, sir. Okay, sir. Don't leave the class. Okay, sir. Please don't leave the class. Okay, sir. Sir, next time I go to Nidhi Gudar Zoom app, ah, Zoom app like can I only? Alright, sir. I'm saying. i am saying that your class is getting recorded and uh, if you disturb the class you are going to get punished that's it hey understand i understand you all sir somebody is unmuting my mic sir that's why the sound is coming please you mute yourself ah, dheeraj ah dheeraj stop sir, stop sir sir all right sir धीरज मार्क्स बैठ को मास्क अरे सर क्लास क्लास है पहले सर अरे वेट रख <laughs> सर निटन तो ये पोता है सर कौन दरा सब जेहर डाली अरे निकु मामले ले दरा निन्न कुछ तांता पटको नहीं सारे <laughs> 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 मेसेज where chat and the chat box and you can text there illa em le sir chat box maaku em ganavadatledu meeke ganavadatadu meek ante meek untademo meer hold meer chesedo like untademo maaku le ada everybody andariki untadi chat box everybody can anybody can message there so there bad see show conversation one option is there no go to show conversation is there there you can text మాకు మూడే చూపెడతానే సార్ పుట్ మీ ఆన్ హోల్డ్ టర్న్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్కమ్ ఇన్ వీడియో డైల్ ప్యాడ్ ఈ మూడే చూపెడతానే లేదు ఆడ కాదు రా పైన మెసేజ్ బాక్స్ ఉంది చూడు రే ప్లీజ్ డోంట్ డిస్కస్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ ఆస్క్ ఎనీథింగ్ యు కెన్ ఆస్క్ మీ డోంట్ డిస్కస్ డోంట్ డిస్కస్ అమంగ్ యు సెల్ఫ్ పైన పార్టిసిపేషన్స్ కనబడతాయి సార్ అంతే ఓకే సార్ ఓకే సార్ మీకు ఉందిలే ఆగండి వెయిట్ యువర్ క్లాస్ ఇస్ గెటింగ్ రికార్డెడ్ యువర్
సార్ మేము ఏమన్నాం సార్ మా డౌట్ అడిగితే చెప్తున్నాం సార్ మామూలు కాలేజ్ టైమింగ్స్ ఏ నైట్ కూడా టైం టేబుల్ ఉంది కదా సార్ ఎందుకు